Hello and welcome to another video on the Raster Test channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at Shadow Tree and how to handle a Shadow Tree in. Don't worry if you're confused. In the next seconds, we will solve this together. So we have here a page which has a Shadow Dome. Now, what is a Shadow Dome? Well, it it is similar to a normal dome. It is. Um, let's say it's there but not really there and you will see why this is an issue in test automation uh, and also how we can solve it so first let's just um, have a look at, at our page and let's just inspect the page a little bit if we have a look um, right here we can see we have a shadow root open so we have these are indications of shadow room so whatever whenever you have issues let's say with your automation that you have a locator and you know it's supposed to be working and it's not one indication would be shadow domes the other would be iframes but that's a whole other video so we just want to do a very very simple thing here we just want to write a name here something like test or whatever so how can we do this with Cypress? Well, we have Cypress um, started and in my Cypress test, I just have one simple part. I want to navigate to the page. So I just want to navigate to the page that we saw before and then see if there's there are a couple of ways to interact with that form. So our test did pass, but it didn't really do anything. And I want to inv inspect a little bit this um, outside of the developer tools. You know, Cypress has its own inspector. So if I try to see what is this or how, or what elements are in um, this form, I cannot. So as you can see, I cannot do it here or here. So that's one indication that things are going to get a little bit complicated. Now, how do we handle this in Cypress? How do we handle this uh, Shadow Dome situation? On the one hand, we actually need to use this part right here, this get shadow sign in form. So we'll just go to Cypress and I copied that from Cypress. So we have this ci.get and then we have the shadow sign in form. Now, we need to tell Cypress, okay, this is a shadow dome. So how do we do that? We just do dot shadow. And then we just need to find our element. And how do we find that element? So we can use different, uh, I mean, we can use, of course, locators. And let's see what locators we can find on the actual page. So in here, if I inspect this test right here, we see, uh, what is it? It's here. So it has a name of username. So we can try and, and see, okay, we have two names, one and two. Okay. And if I try to do a CSS selector and um, say, okay, we have the attribute of name and I want you to get me the names that actually begin with um, username. Now, in theory, if I did it correctly, this one should work. Well, uh, it seems not to work here, but let's try this in Cypress. So we do find and then we tell it, okay, we have the element locator. Now I need to change this a bit, of course. Perfect. And then we just say uh, type. And what do we want to type? Subscribe to Lester test. And if we run our test again, oops, let's run this one again. Actually, let's run both. Why not? As we can see, 
it did the entering of the data good but there is another way to do this and it's a little bit more simple and it requires two actions on the one hand um, you do not need to find the shadow first you need only to do um, a specific configuration in your end-to-end uh, uh, sorry in your um, in your cypress config.json sorry not in your end-to-end -end. and here we need to add this line include shadow and now it's set to false and i will put it to true and if i put this one to true then i can simply do a variation of this test right here so i can say ci dot get and we can just type there and let's do a variation here it says are you subscribed to raster test so we go back to our cypress test we run the test and if we did everything correctly then we should have both tests so are you subscribed and the other one was with subscribed so there you have it this was how you can handle shadow dome in cyprus as always thank you for watching the video don't forget to rest then you have to test and i will see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye